Um, hello everyone, welcome to this weekly commentary. I'll first do the week commentary and actually doing the commentary, we also do the recap from a uh, last week uh, market. And last week wasn't that uh was that good in terms of trading. And I in my own side, right, it wasn't that good. All right, so now we continue with uh this outlook. We see market using US news to read this particular high since we have read this high and on report right on the budget. Uh just a moment. Let me load this apps on okay. So on the bar chart right here already i do market set to open so if market open we go at t at this 50 percent right at the 50 percent back to on tuesday okay so that means they added some buy position last week it can give us two views for this upcoming week so what do i mean by two views so what i expect this why is first at the beginning of the week we'll have some buy moves all right, we we'll have some buy moves. After the buy moves, we we'll have sell move into this level. Or the major move, or the major one I'm waiting for, is for market at least to come to this low. If we're able to take this low, if tomorrow now market open, give us some little buy, take this high, or even if it didn't take the high, but give us a little buy, then shoot off, take this low, give us a reason to buy, we buy for the week then we expect what a consolidation more for the week so that means this week we expect what a consolidation and the reason why i'm expecting the consolidation is because at this particular level market will be at what zero percent this could report market will be at zero percent and if market will be at zero percent what does it mean it symbolizes that buyers and sellers are into the market and they are almost what equal but since uh, we have uptrend currently so that means I will learn more on the buy side of the market. I will expect the buy side of the market more. But overall, we will both consolidate, except we have what? The high that news. So the major thing you, you have to monitor for the week is monitor this level for a buy. And if market take out an old high like this, give you a reason to sell, you also sell. Because what there's liquidity on both sides here now, since the buyers and sellers are into the market at the current stage. So any side that take us liquidity and give you confirmation for sell, we look for that word. Look for that sell. If this side is the one that give what the confirmation for buy, look for that word buy. So there's what liquidity below this low and above this high. I sense we are in what in a ranging market area. That is that on this one. On good, we saw how uh from my last week weekly commentary. I was expecting market to come here before we expect what bearish drop lower. So market did not do that. Market continued dropping, continued dropping, continued dropping for the week before we have what retracement and a sell right here. And actually saw this sell that was on Friday, so I didn't take it. But I actually saw the sell. I didn't actually take it because after on Thursday, um, I didn't trade that much again. So that was that. On GBBUSD, we had market trading to this imbalance. So expectation was this. That if market can push to this level before we see this sell, but it didn't do that. So, and if you look at it well in terms of support and resistance. You know, this market around this level, around this uh, particular area, market has tested this level more than once. All right. If let's say if you are the type of trader that trades support and resistance, and I believe everybody can, even if you don't trade support and resistance, but the only initiative you should understand that there's a lot of what orders around here because market has tested this level multiple times one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. It has tested it multiple times. So that is kind of like what a resistance level. And market traded into this imbalance right here, then giving us what? A reason sell currently. And it has broken my first level, which is this level, and it's below this particular level right here. So for the week, and expectation is also the same right here. So if market take this low, give us a reason to buy, 
we buy. If market also take this high, give us a reason to sell or sell. That means there's liquidity below this low. There's liquidity above this high. Simple and straight point. The same thing on this um, right here. If market take out this high, I will what? Give me reason to sell or sell. Market take out this low, give me reason to buy. I will buy. So there's a liquidity below this. And this is our current structural range. And if market break this high, the upcoming week, then we know what we expect. If a quote report, if they are buying the if they are selling USD, if they start selling USD again and interest rate support it, then we look to what to buy most uh most uh, excess usds so that is what we do but for the week the, ma the major thing we are looking after is what monitoring this liquidity monitoring this liquidity so if market below this low give us a reason to buy we buy as what a pullback then if market break this high again we can what look for sell again as inducement because what liquidity is between four of them why because what good report they are what buyers and sellers on this pair just like around this level so and this level, what happened? Market went above fifty percent when you track it back. All right, I've already explained how this work. You track it back. It's what leading indicator. But when we get this data, it doesn't lead again. It come up at the right time. So take for example today. Now we have what we have a code report, and when the code report open this night, to track back to on on Tuesday, it will track back to on Tuesday. Which will help us to know what will happen, and I've already checked it on my phone. That what the um, sellers close some positions, right? Overall, overall, in terms of taking wins or how you use your data, right? They close some position, which means buyers and sellers are into the market, and they are what at fifty percent. This is why I expect what a consolidation for the week. Step what news. If there's news, news can push it up. It can also push it down. So overall, I will be expecting what? A reversal week after a long sell. All right? We'll be expecting what? A reversal week after a long sell. Now, before the reversal week, we can have what? Some consolidation before reversal. That is one thing you should know as what a trader. And these are the three pairs we'll be talking about today. Uh, that is uh, ROUSD, Gold, DSY, and GPV USD. So good luck. Go trading. See you guys on Monday.